Alright, welcome to STIW2043 Digital Lecture um, So basically this is your first uh, lab Today we're going to perform basic uh, Android uh, Development Environment Installation uh, Together with the uh, Eclipse Installation uh, Software Development Kit for Android SDK for Android and also the uh, Java SDK installation and second uh, you're going to perform uh, what we call the basic or the um, standard Android development process okay so at the end of this course you should be able to set up Android uh, development environment and basically you can bring back the uh, development environment and perform the installation on your own PC secondly you're going to get familiar with the basic Android development environment and at least you get some idea how to develop application using Android or using Eclipse alright uh, so we're going to start with um, some basic requirement so at least um, you are familiar with Android device you know how the Android operating system works and also you need basic Java programming right and also passion towards mobile programming and of course uh, you're taking this subject and you have the passion towards uh, mobile programming Alright, first thing you need to do is installation. Installation for Android development uh, is basically quite simple. Um, what you need is these three component: uh, the Java SDK. So most of the uh, most of you already know or uh, familiar with the Java software development kit, uh, where you can download from Java SDK website. Second, you need Eclipse. So this is the integrated development environment uh, where you can use to develop uh, application for Java, for C, uh, for C hash, and basically uh, Eclipse provide uh, interface or what we call the development environment for many many uh, different uh, programming language. And of course, the third component that you need is the Android SDK itself. So the Android SDK basically you can download, right? The Android SDK you can download from the Android website. Um, I'm going to point where you can download uh, the uh, the the much easier installation, which is by using what we call uh, the all-in-one bundle Android SDK and Eclipse. All right. So uh, this. Uh, bundle application basically combine the Eclipse and also the SDK the Android SDK uh, you still need to, to download Java SDK but Java SDK is, is uh, very easy to download and very uh, common to, to to most of you to every one of you um, however uh, since Android SDK and Eclipse, the integration between these two uh, components requires uh, a few settings. Uh, Android uh, team basically they have provided with uh, uh, a much easier installation with uh, what we call, what they call it as all-in-one bundle Android SDK and Eclipse. All right, you can download this from the developer website. Uh, developer.android.com slash sdk slash index.html uh, and you can choose either 32-bit or 64-bit development environment uh, for the lab PC you must choose the 64-bit uh, download uh, the 64-bit version uh, I'm hoping you can download this but if you cannot I'm trying to provide you with uh, my own uh, SDK link but I hope I can do that um, and we'll provide you with the link 
um, that later I'm going to put in learning zone uh, and so you need but you still need the to install the Java SDK and the Java SDK you can download from Java website all right uh, okay so basically uh, I hope you can download my file uh, from UEM server so the link will be provided to you uh, later so you can copy both file from your USB drive to the desktop so the, the, the file basically is the Java JDK the Java download kit and this is a 64-bit uh, JDK and also ADT bundle so this is the one that uh, I have downloaded from uh, Android developer website alright and this is also for 64-bit machine if your machine is a 32-bit machine then you need to download for the 32-bit machine alright so the first thing you need to download both so the compressed uh, ADT bundle windows and also the JDK if the JDK is not uh, yet available in the system alright you can test this by typing the by, by searching for the uh, JDK folder under program file the Java folder under program file if it's not available then you need you, you can install it alright and then install the JDK if it's not available and then unzip the edit bundle to any of your favorite folder i would suggest under drive c all right you put it under drive c it is a much easier for you to maintain to look for and this is normally uh, i put this under drive c slash and then the folder name and the folder name basically i use the version name because uh, it is a much easier for, for you to understand that the release version so this is the release version so you can use the date as uh, as your uh, mark to know which version uh, that you are currently using all right um, and then browse through inside the folder and locate the Eclipse main program and then you create shortcut eclipse.exe to your desktop there you go easy as yeah it is quite easy because um, minimal installation you don't have to perform any configuration at all because everything has been configured for you all you need to do is install the JDK and copy unzip the all-in-one bundle to your directory to the drive C all right so uh, you should get something like this all right you should get something like this sorry I need to to look for the directory all right so this is the directory uh, drive C all right so this is the, the directory edit bundle Eclipse and also the SDK right so this is the Eclipse and this is the SDK all right now next the first phase getting started so this is where you're going to learn uh, to get used with the Android uh, or with the Eclipse Android development environment so you're going to create your first Android programs to create your first Android program run your Eclipse from your desktop and your Eclipse is going to start to request to set for your workspace and basically the workspace is where your project is being saved all right every time you create new project so this uh, the, the the development environment will create a bunch of files under the project name folder and this project folder is being saved in the workspace all right so be very careful where you set your workspace make sure that you can find the directory of your workspace and normally by default uh, Eclipse will suggest the location of the workspace and you just follow the workspace uh, suggested by Eclipse all right then save uh, and then press ctrl n 
and select Android application project and press next right so to do this let's see uh, show the desktop so this is my Eclipse alright so this is where uh, the workspace launcher will ask you where you want to set your workspace uh, and, and I'm putting my my workspace under the folder uh, under my own folder all right if you don't want to you want to set different workspace you can select different workspace all right for now I'm using my my workspace all right you wait for a few seconds and your Eclipse Android developer tools uh, will run okay takes a while all right so this is basically my previous project um, okay just close this first all right now to run your first project press ctrl n go to the android application project click next all right this is your application name all right this is your application name what name that you want to give to your application because this is going to reflect uh, the whole or the title of your uh, program all right so for example I'm using the hello world like all right so the project the application name is hello world the project name most of the time this is where your folder name of your project in your workspace is going to be named and it is a good practice not to have any white space okay not to have any white space here for example like hello world all right it is a good practice okay and your package name all right this is your package name your package name basically will reflect your class right your the use or the name of your uh, uh, the whole package if you have several classes in your package and your package basically reflect how many uh, will be used in each of your class all right and normally people use uh, in Android development, they will use the com dot the name of the company dot the name of the application. All right. So in this case, I'm using the Hello World, and normally I don't use the company because I don't have any company. If you want to put it as uum dot Hello World is fine. Com dot uum dot Hello World, and this is going to be the name of your package later. All right. So this is how normally we use uh, to define the package name. Com dot the name of the company dot the name of the application all right if at least you need two right you need two uh, for your package name the rest leave it all right leave it as it is the minimum required SDK you can read by hovering under the I choose the lowest version of Android that your application will support uh, the target SDK the highest application that your application is going to work with yeah and then a uh, compile with in the the SDK compile uh, you're going to compile with uh, which version and the theme that your application will be using right just press next 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 just follow just follow until the end you're going to create your first Android application all right now notice here this is your activity name this is where your uh the name what we call as the activity class to create this is the name of the class and the main activity that you're going to create secondly is the layout name all right the layout name this is your form this is where your layout design the name of your form and this is in xml format uh, navigation type we're going to leave this uh, for later okay then you press finish <laughs> Alright, wait for it. 
until the whole uh, system until the whole interface has been loaded all right now all right this is your project this is the hello world project all right and on the left side as you can see the hello world folder inside the folder you can see there's a src this is another folder the second folder the third uh, folder the fourth fifth and the last folder is uh, the resource folder and inside this uh, there's a bunch of files that we're going to look into this later but for now leave it as it is and we're going to run this uh, for your first what we call the hello world project okay all right your hello world project uh, basically a simple uh, layout which show a simple hello world right uh, in order to run this you can you basically you can use two method all right we can just forward this you can refer this uh, all right without doing anything to the project you don't have to write anything code anything at all there are two methods to run your application the first method is to run on emulator all right the emulator basically is a built-in android emulator that allow for developer to test the application virtually you can have your own android inside your uh, Android uh, development environment right so you can test virtually of course you cannot have this on your phone uh, because uh, basically this is for the second method which you can run on your own or your real device and this is basically for me I like the second method which allow us to test directly to to my device to our device so if you have an Android device you can test you can install directly to your device but for this for the purpose of this course we're going to use uh, emulator and I'm going to show you how to use the emulator all right to use the emulator uh, you need to access the Eclipse window menu all right under the window menu you can look for the android virtual device manager here all right so this is the android device manager and when you click here it, another interface you're going to to, uh, to to have so this is the interface and all you need to do is to create new avd the android virtual device and uh, you're going to fill in a few parameters that I'm going to show later, show later. So fill in all the information, required information here, and you just press OK. All right, I'm going to show you how to create uh, on, from the Eclipse. All right, and go to the window menu here. Open up the Android Visual Device Manager. All right, uh, I have one here, but I'm going to have another one new. Um, when you press new you you can have a create new Android virtual device you can put any names Android uh, 4 put it Android 4 and device this is the screen size you can select I'm um, suggesting if you can use as low as resolution as possible uh, and my uh, it's better for you to use this size at least right four inch size uh, your android development depend on the sdk available uh, i believe uh, you have the version of uh, 4.3 only so select the 4.3 the rest leave it as it is and then press ok then you have the android 4.3 uh next start your emulator all right just press start and launch option press launch wait for your emulator to load and depending on the hardware performance of your pc yeah, it's going to take a while around three to four minutes to load the entire operating system uh virtual android virtual device okay yes close the AVD now 
wait for like two or three minutes uh, if you have good RAM like uh, the PC is in the lab yeah it takes one minute or two minutes to, to look uh, depending on the performance of the hardware all right the computer hardware wait for it wait for it wait for it takes a while but uh okay as i have said it takes a while even my machine is uh, run on 8 gigabyte of ram and i7 processor no still uh, you can imagine how long it takes that's why i prefer to run on real device i'm going to to teach you how to to run on your real device later but for the purpose of today's uh, class uh, we're going to use the uh, the android virtual device Uh, wait for it, wait for it. Okay. Uh, wow. Yeah. There you go. All right. So you can interact with the with the Android. You can try to explore the interface, how it works, and there's a tutorial you can choose. And this is a full flash Android operating system. Okay, so you can choose. Uh, you can try all the menus, the launcher, the applications. All right, this is a full flash Android operating system, 4.3, the latest version, or almost the latest version, because nowadays we have the version 4.4. They call it KitKat. Okay, all right. To try to, to run your first uh, Hello World Android application, just press Run here. Run activity main.xml. Press Run. All right. If there's no response, all you need to do is again press the small button here. Okay. No, sorry. Press it again. It's supposed to have. Again. All right. You're supposed to to have this run as. Select the Android application. Press OK. All right. Then you're going to be you're going to have another. Uh, you need to to notice here. Launching Hello World 100% is waiting. So you need to have this. All right, now you have to select, and this is basically uh, the selection of um, uh, which type of uh, Android device available for you. Now the emulator is running, yes, running in running state, and you select this. This one is not in running state, right? Unknown. So you select this, the emulator version. All right, and then you press OK. And look at your simulate look at your emulator your EVD all right there you go you have your first hello world application uh, with just a simple words here a simple line the famous hello world line and your title your uh, application bar and this is the name of your application so I, I didn't mention about this whatever the name you have put there it will be appear here the hello world and that's it uh, press menu you want to go back or you press this button to go back oh sorry home button you want to go out from the application and you want to make sure that your application has been uh, properly installed press home button and look for your application in oh, sorry inside here there you go this is your application the hello world application you click on your application 
and the application will run hello world simple right it's quite easy all right now now we're going to look into the uh, the details of the uh, how the Android development environment uh, works okay I'm going to introduce we I'm going to introduce you with the uh, Eclipse uh, development environment first because this is very important for you for you to understand you need to get used to the environment first before you can program uh, in Android you can start development in Android okay now look on your left on your package explorer so this is the package explorer we call it as package explorer so inside this package explorer every files every uh, library component required for development of your application is in here all right the images uh, the icon um, the project setting everything is in this folder project all right this is your folder project you have the src for source uh, for source uh, source source code definitely res uh, for resources and the last one is android manifest this is for your setting your project setting all right uh, i'm i'm going to uh, provide you with the the most fundamental of android application development all right there are only two files that you need to to look into uh, to perform basic android development all right the files are the the first one is under resource folder uh, layout folder under the resource folder you have the layout folder inside the layout folder you have the activity main dot xml all right the activity main and dot xml when you click here all right the, you you're going to have another interface here this is where your workspace this is where your working uh, interface um, where you you design your form okay so as you can see here um within the design form the designer uh, view you can select uh, the widget right this is where you design your form you can put your text box your button your uh, video player your sound player whatever images that you want to put in uh, it is here okay so you can you can do this by clicking or dragging uh, all the palettes of the widgets uh, available uh, in the palettes uh, bar right? All right for example um, choosing this medium text this is what we call as the uh, the text view all right the text view basically you can view the text you can move around you can put somewhere here in the middle uh, down here you can put buttons and you can select other type of uh, text field this is for text input uh, what else uh, alright this is for layout we're going to, to look into this later how to design layout but for this uh, maybe we can add some more uh, button and the button the toggle button we call it as a toggle button checkbox radio button right just play around right so basically the activity main.xml uh, this is a as i said before this is an xml code all right you can choose either to view in graphical layout here or in xml codes all right so if you view with the xml codes you can have this xml entry so for every component that you inserted for example for text view so this is the tagging for the text view all the properties of the text view will be in this tag all right the text view tag for the button right so this is the button tag uh, all the component all the properties for buttons will be laid out in this 
uh, XML tag button also the rest for edit tags uh, for toggle button radio button every component that you inserted into your activity main or XML layout will be having their own tag all right it is easier to view in a graphical layout but for advanced user advanced programmer they like to tweak with the XML codes okay all right so this is the first file that is very important for you there's a no code required you can just directly run the codes and it will appear in your uh, sorry you need to select hello world. all right launching hello world here select your Android emulator press ok again look at your emulator wait for a second or two and and then you have your application run in your emulator there you go all right so now you have your button here you have radio button you have the toggle button you have the uh, edit text here all right you can type in anything and right okay the second most important file is the source code the java where do you write the java code so of course it is in the src folder the source folder and uh, normally we put the names automatically the eclipse environment will give the main activity.java as the class name all right so double click on the main activity.java now within this file you have automatically created uh, java codes for you the class itself right so you are familiar with java and you know that the class this is the class this is the methods all right so this is the class and this is the method now you have two methods here all right and you have the import component here and the name of your package all right so uh, this is two most important file in Android uh, development. Okay. Next. Uh, this is for if you want to install on real device. Uh, make sure that you have Android device driver, and also you, for easy driver installation, you can install the universal ADV driver setup, and this is basically allow you to install. Uh, universal driver for Android and also you need to turn on security feature in your device to allow to install from unknown source uh, press the run button in Eclipse and select the name of a device in the Android device choose the dialog okay all right so basically you just created your first Android application congratulations um, I think we better stop here so uh, later in your next lab we're going to start with the real development uh, of Android application so uh, see you in your next class